Every day I wake up and I'm amazed that mutate even works at all. It's such a strange mechanic, because turns out merging multiple cards into one card does some stupid stuff. First off, there's two weird words in the reminder text of mutate. You own. Obviously this clarifies you can't go mutating things onto other people's stuff, but it also admits, through omission, that you don't have to control the things you mutate. If someone mind controls your card, you can still mutate things onto it. Or if you mind control someone else's, you can't. Mutate is one of the few things that can change a card's copyable value. A mutated stack has the copyable values of the top card, in addition to the abilities of the lower cards. Among the interesting copyable values you can change is Legendary. By putting stuff on top of them, you can make legendary creatures unlegendary. And if you're worried about someone disrupting your Kiki combo with a meddling needle, you can slip around it because Mutate changes the card's name too. Because you treat the whole stack as one object, each part of the stack is affected by things that affect it at all. This is really obvious for things like removal, where the whole stack gets put into the graveyard or exile, but it also means if it gets hit with an Atrata, the whole stack gets a hit counter, meaning you could potentially be one hit by it. Everyone's favorite interaction is with Leadership Vacuum. Being your commander is not a copyable value. A card can't stop being your commander even when it's at the bottom of a stack, meaning it can always be hit by Leadership Vacuum. And when it resolves, the entire stack will go to the command zone. Unfortunately, you can only cast your commander from the command zone, so those other cards are just stuck there forever. If the stack has an old growth troll in it, when it dies, each part of the stack will come back separately as a land enchantment. Tokens are fun, as long as the top card is a token, you can still populate it. Pop quiz. What do you think happens if a mutate stack has a flip card in it? What do you think happens if there's a transform card in it? This one is actually pretty simple. Cards that flip or transform do so, and the others stay put. The stack has the abilities of the flip sides, though if the top card of the stack is an Arreo, for example, it will no longer be a creature. It'll just be an enchantment, with a lot of words on it. In a similar vein, if a Theros God isn't the top card of your stack, and you lose Devotion, the top card won't be a creature, and it probably won't be an enchantment either. It'll just be a permanent, with no card types. One of the weirdest things you can do if you manage to make a Planeswalker into a creature, which can easily be done with Sarkon, a sword, or this one specific Gideon, you can make the top card a creature with loyalty abilities. These will function as normal, but because it's not a Planeswalker, it won't die due to having zero loyalty, and it can't be attacked directly during combat. All this complicated stuff, and yet still the thing I can't figure out, is how you can't mutate onto humans. 